nostalgia for me. Hello, all you Martians out there. It's your turn, fixed foot, soul, a bit of that old world flavor. You're tuned to Radio Nostalgia from Mars. Breathe easy, kick back, and reminisce. Take my hand, explain to me. This project called humanity. Don't let go while from this arise. There will be no surprise, all I know. Is that we shouldn't be sad when we think of the road. Blind take on our wonderful project called Humanity. Beautiful. Plenty more to come to Soul Show. 
a show packed with stories and music to remind ourselves of where we are and how far we've come. Our first caller for the show calls it like it is and was a hard-hitting look back at the last days on Earth from the perspective of a shrewd businessman and loving father. Stories, memories, the good old days. Original sources, authentic tales, hope, inspiration, drama. Regular stoker for miles. I worked in oil. Brokering gasoline, to be exact. It's a strange business, uh, probably not like you would actually imagine it to be. My day started something like this. I check Reuters and my sheets. See if there's been a change in the fundamentals. See if the spread's up or down. And then when the clock strikes go, I'm on the phone. I could be calling some commercial shop in Bumble, Kansas, where little old Sue loves to know how my daughter's doing. Or I could be trying to get into the head of a powerful Russian who knows the world wants his phone number. That's when the psychology kicks in, and I go to work. If they pick up the phone, they're mine. That's the game. I started when I was uh, 29, 30. <laughs> my boss. My boss was a coked up, permatanned moron who was wasted by lunch. More money than sense. Screaming at waiters, because, uh, I don't know. You don't drink gin out of a glass like that. And Caesar salad is supposed to have eight pieces. Eight pieces of chicken, you stunted fool. Stunted fool was his favorite insult. It's coming from a guy who was five foot and nothing. That was pretty much my life. 24-7. I traveled a lot. Meeting clients all over the world. The Amazon, the Gulf, Siberia, Central Asia, the States, Singapore, everywhere. Looking back, I can't claim that I ever would recommend that life, nor can I claim that I was ever really happy doing it. But it was fun. I mean, talk about your share of moments. There was this one girl some strange mix of Algiers and Paris, with some sprinkle of Havana, a dancer, naturally. So pretty. She'd turn a priest's head or give a nod of Sometimes I wonder what happened to her. But we all had the same feeling. This can't last. And sure enough, we were right. First you couldn't drink the water, then you couldn't eat the crops. And pretty soon we wouldn't be able to breathe in air. I remember looking at...